Today is the day, my pals. It's finally here. The much anticipated release of the Miss Happy action figure. Oh my gosh, look at her. She is the moment. The most anticipated toy of the summer. Get out my toy shop or else. All right, bit strange. It must be part of an immersive retail experience. I do realize I'm not technically an employee, but I don't think anyone will mind. Oh my gosh, look what they've done. A life-size Miss Happy? Okay, obsessed? That is so cool. I want to have a look around the toy store, though, see what other kinds of Miss Happy accessories we might have. And Wait a second. Okay, so is the life-size Miss Happy supposed to chase the customers? Because I feel like I'm going to do less shopping if I am consumed by fear. got to say, though, the weird farting sound does subtract from the terror. Oh my gosh. Okay, I take it all back. Coming to you live from the Miss Happy toy launch. Miss Happy has gained a soul and an enemy. That's right, Miss Happy woke up this morning and chose violence. For reasons unknown, she is filled with a rage that burns with the fire of a thousand suns, and it is up to me to try to escape. Oh, luckily, I see a vent. Those little hands are getting a little close for comfort, but I'm almost there if I can just... Oh my gosh! <laughs> vent, why do you fail me? Oh my gosh, I've been seeing a lot of comments lately that are like, Girl, why do you like vent so much? The vent to me is a place of safety, a place of respite. In this tipsy topsy world of mishappies and monsters and all sorts of critters that might try to chase you down, we all need somewhere where we can feel safe. And for me, that is the vent. So come with me, my pals, to safety. Bruh. Oh my gosh, what do you think you're doing? Betrayal, betrayal! This is not the vent experience I was promised. Wow, you think you can rely on a vent. Is she just gonna come like plummeting through the ceiling or something? I should probably get out of here. Miss Happy says, sup. How dare you ask me what's sup when you just chased me through a vent most cruelly. Perhaps I should turn the question around, Miss Happy, and ask, sup with you. If you have any ideas or theories about what might be sup with Miss Happy on today of all days, the day of her product launch, chasing people down in the toy shop, most unexpected. Um, let me know in the comment section, what do you think's going on? I think we've got a mystery to solve, gang. I might press this button. <gasps> Ooh, love that. Wow, do you think this is what the employee-only section of the toy store usually looks like? Cause I've never been back there, but I was not expecting so many spike pits. But then again, maybe it makes perfect sense. Maybe that's why it has to be an employee-only area. They have to protect the custies from all the spike pits. And they have to have the spike pits because of shoplifters, probably. I'm not an expert in retail security, but that's my work in theory. I guess the real dilemma for me now is, do I still buy a Miss Happy toy? It is the hottest toy of the summer. Like, yes, one of them came to life and tried to chase me down, and that's not great. But on the other hand, look at her. I like beans. Hilarious. I'm like, yeah, I also like beans. We have so much in common. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but I just feel like I still want to take home a Miss Happy doll. Maybe I'll just ask if I can have the model that doesn't come to life and terrorize you. Up we go. Sure hope there's no one waiting for me in this vent. Okay, looks safe so far, but the trust is gone. Probably never to be returned. I had the fright of my life. Ooh, this is cool. It's like I'm in an arcade or something. Oh yeah, I want to play the game. Of course I want to play the game. Oh, this is cool. Oh wow, I can jump real high. I like the sound effects. Hey, oh, wait, wait a second. Who's that? Who's Miss Happy? How did she get inside the video game? What am I supposed to do? She's moving so quickly. Um, all right. I think she's gonna get me because I don't really see a... Oh, cool. The boxes keep her at bay. Really gonna need to find another box pretty soon because she is so close. Eh, where's my box? No, no, no. Where's my box? There's my next box. Ah! Ah! Got it. Hee hee, I'm so pink and speedy. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. Okay, this is officially a weird day. I've been chased by a giant Miss Happy doll. I've also entered an arcade game. Um, and what on earth is happening here? Um, am I gonna get crushed by this giant dice? Feels like a very real possibility, so I might just hang over here for a second. Oh, yep, see that? It went right behind me. I'm not going to get outsmarted by a dice. I mean, hopefully I won't be outsmarted by a dice. These dice can be very tricky. Oh yeah, here we go. This is a Rubik's Cube, the trickier cousin of the dice. I have never finished a Rubik's Cube. I do not understand them. If you've done one before, just go ahead and flex in the comment section. Just show it off, you know? Be like, I did that. Well, I'll be really impressed. I'll be really impressed. I'll be like, whoa, you're the master of the cube? Oh, I've heard tell. I've heard legends. 
Anyway, does it look like I should probably blast myself out of this cannon? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, obsessed. Sometimes people ask me if I wasn't a YouTuber what I would do instead, and I think my new answer might be human cannonball. Obviously, I don't have a heap of human cannonball experience, but, you know, I'm enthusiastic. I'm willing to learn. Here's what I'm wondering, though. What do we think Ms. Happy's game plan is here with the whole chasing us around the toy store business? Like, does she maybe not want us to take home the toys? Maybe they're like her babies. Oh my gosh, they're like her children, her mini-me's. She's like, do not take my babies. Dang, when I think about it that way, it's like a pretty legit complaint. A relatable queen, she just doesn't want her little babies taken away. Obviously, I think she could have used her words first instead of chasing me down. Like, I am a reasonable person. If she just told me that she didn't want the babies being stolen, I would have been like, no problem. I didn't realize that they were your children. I thought they were toys. But she just skipped all that conversation and went straight to hot pursuit. That's where the issue lies, I think. Like, just talk to me, Miss Happy. Just use your words. Ooh, what's going on here? Ooh. <laughs> okay, this is this is unusual. Got a little spike pit situation happening here and um, a strange bird's eye view. But I don't know, I don't hate it. This is pretty wild. It's a lot like when I got sucked into the arcade machine, except I'm, I'm still in the toy store. I'm just having to move through the toy store in a slightly different manner. At least I don't think that I got sucked into the arcade game again. Oh no, we're back to reality. All good. And this looks like a lift. I wonder where we're going up to or down to. Okay, didn't expect to go down. Are we a little worried that Miss Happy is going to be waiting for us down here? Do we think that she is ready to have a conversation? Okay, this doesn't look good. Jumbo Miss Happy, now super intelligent. Yeah, I just don't know that you actually needed to make her super intelligent. I think you probably made her too intelligent. It's kind of like when you've got a dog and the dog's too smart. You don't want a dog that is too smart. That's when they get all anxious. See, this is what I'm talking about here. This is exactly what we didn't need. She doesn't want to have a conversation with me. She's not looking to start a dialogue. She's looking to crush me with her giant wheel. And you know what? I'm starting to notice something. I just don't even know if she's that happy. Like when you look at that face, does it say happy to you? I don't know, something about the furrowed brow. I don't know, I just don't feel like it's giving happy. I feel like it's giving vengeful. Also, the fact that one of her eyes has gone like smaller than the other one, it's kind of like she's squinting. She's like so mad, she's like squinting at me. Oh, I think she's steadily falling apart. And she's spinning. Is she gonna blow up? Oh, oh just disappeared in thin air. Cool, all right, well, that's not bad. So I guess the main decision that remains for me to make is do I go back and purchase a Miss Happy doll and take it home? Or have I learned my lesson and my home is no place for a Miss Happy doll? Have I just fallen? Yeah, okay. Sorry, let's try that again. I don't know what's happening with this weird conveyor belt thing. <laughs> kind of disorienting the way the stars move, but I think I've got the hang of it now. So yeah, I just don't know that I need to bring home a Miss Happy doll. I feel like I've had my Miss Happy experience. I actually feel like I ended up with a lot more of a Miss Happy experience than I probably needed, so you know what? I might just go, you know what? It looks like it looks like the store's actually already closed, so I'm just gonna get in my big old pink Jeep. If anyone needs a ride, I am heading home. Oh, yep, there we go. Come on, hop on in. I'm driving. Oh, no, I'm not driving. I am trapped under the vehicle. Bruh. Okay, update. I have become the vehicle, and I very nearly ran over my pal. Ooh, creepy. We've got some... Jumbo Ms. Happy's waving goodbye to us. Just wave, just, just, just wave. Don't make direct eye contact. <laughs> Looks like this is the end of the road. We're gonna have to continue on foot from here. Almost there, apparently. All good. We can climb a little old ladder. Or quite a big ladder. Perhaps an endless ladder. Eventually. I thought it would never end. Where have I gone? Have I climbed to the moon? Oh no, just to the giant dancing statue of myself. But... I never get tired of it.